everybody and welcome to this new video. Today we are looking at a design that I sort of thought up for an archway or a bridge or whatever you want to use it for. And so this is something I just thought up different ways to use it. Um, it's probably been thought up multiple times before but I just thought of it and so I decided I would show it to you to sort of give some ideas for our archways. So if we sort of pretend these are on buildings or whatever, this is like the classic arch people use with steps. And that's what we're looking at today. This is when they just put the steps all around and you can do whatever you want with the corners. I'll show you some new ways, different things you can do with the corners and what I like best. But this is kind of, you know, a classic regular thing. You can get, better, get rid of those ones on top if you're not using them or whatever. But pretty basic, pretty simple. But what I really like is when the steps are turned upside down, because that just gives it a whole new dynamic level of coolness. And for all of these, just a little note here that I made for myself, you can always make them smaller or you can cut it short, cut off the sides if you want. Um, that doesn't matter. If you think it looks better, go ahead. Um, I just did this because I thought it worked. So. This is my all-time favorite one, that's why I'm going to show it to you first, because never save the best for last doesn't always work out. What you do, upside down ones, and then put regular ones on the sides, and it ends up looking really cool. It makes a nice little border here, and it kind of squares it off for you in a nice even way. I know it's kind of hard to see in contrast to the background, um, but it is very cool to see there, and it has a nice little corner aspect to it. Another thing you can do, definitely just round the corners there, pretty simple. Um, just leave the corners like that, that works as well. And those are some pretty basic, basic ideas on how you can use this. There are lots of other things you can do. You don't have to have these pole columns here if you don't want them. But I just think it looks, it looks good that way as well, kind of, kind of showing you where to go. Don't have to have them. But this is, that, that's kind of my idea there. That's all I really want to show you for this video. Try and keep it nice and short. Um, great idea. Definitely use it in your, in your um, designs or whatever. I think that's pretty cool. And I'll see you guys next time.